Hello. Today we are going to see how to make professional looking graphs using MS Excel. So this is the kind of graph that I am talking about. These type of graphs are usually required in schools, colleges and researches while writing papers. So to begin with we have a data set of three columns the data 1, data 2 and data 3 and you will notice the values of the data are really close to each other so that we can learn how to make them distinctively appear while drawing the graph. So to begin with we will select the entire data set we will just roll over the mouse and select it and then we will go to the insert page and then in the insert we go to the line there is this line graph and then just below it there is line with markers so I'm gonna select this line with markers it will give you a graph but it's very rough kind of graph it's a very general graph which cannot be used professionally so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it I'm gonna do a makeover of this graph make it looking professional so first of all what we do is we select the area by clicking here the graph area the plot area and then we extend it till the corner like this the next step is to select the legion place it at a proper place just right click it when you right click it a menu will appear here you will get a shape fill fill it with white color and just next to it is shape outline give it a black outline right so that's the beginning then we'll do the x and the y axis we go to the layout menu from the top in the layout there is access titles box so, uh, in the access titles we go to the primary horizontal access title which gives you title below axis here we will write the title let's write it x axis or x label let's go with the x label fine now you'll see here that x label is overlapping with the three so what we're gonna do is we select the plot area again and we move it just a little bit upwards so that it does not overlap now similarly we go again to the axis titles and do the vertical axis rotated title we'll write it y label just select it y label like that and again to remove the overlapping we are just going to move it a little bit right so that it does not overlap with the axis values okay so we are good here now there is one more thing the axis is from 0 to 25 well the values range from 10 to 20 so we are going to change the limits we click on the y axis just select it and right click there is an option of format axis in this option we are going to select the minimum and maximum values as 10 and 20 all right and close it so we'll see we get a graph from 10 to 20 but still it's somewhat overlapping and we cannot distinctively see the values so we are going to change the appearance of graph lines just click on one of these shapes markers and then right click there is an option of format data series open it now it's a series of formatting we go to the marker options and we reduce the size of it to 4 then we go to marker fill select the solid fill and change the color to black then we go to the line color we make it a solid line of the color black then the line style uh, this is a very important part because if the lines are fat we cannot see where they are overlapping so we are going to reduce the width to one point only and then see then we have marker line color we are going to make it a solid line of black color and marker line style is fine so we will just gonna keep it same way when we close it we will see that the line has been changed now uh, we are going to repeat the same process with a uh, second set of data or the second line we're going to click on a marker and then right click format data series we're going to repeat the same thing uh, see the reducing the size of marker is necessary because otherwise they'll overlap on close values and we won't be able to differentiate now if you'll see it will by default select the black color because it was the same for previous 
bar the marker line color black one line style is fine and lastly the blue one which is the data one we select it format the data series we go to marker options we select the built-in option reduce the size we change the color to black we change the line color to black solid line we change the line style width to one point again marker line color again solid black line and that's all we are good to go now you'll see we can very much distinct very much distinctively say what are the values of these graphs but still something lacks here yes that's because the values of these graphs are in points and decimals and the lines the background grid lines show only the numeric values so what we are going to do is we are again going to select the y-axis and right click on it and click on the option add minor grid lines that's it so now our graph looks very much changed from what it initially used to be and the best thing is we can zoom it as much as we want see and it still doesn't stretch out just to verify this I'm going to copy this graph and paste it in the word file where we usually write our papers I'm going to simply paste it here see and then I'm going to zoom it see no matter how much I zoom it it won't stretch out so that's a good way to go well that's all for this video thank you so much